Andrew Tate is a social media influencer, former kickboxing champion, self-proclaimed billionaire, and controversial key figure in the manosphere. He's become known for his brash personality and outspoken opinions online, which quickly made him the most searched man on the planet. In this video, we'll document the rise and fall of Andrew Tate and how he went from top G to arrested and canceled. Rise to Fame Andrew Tate's rise to fame has been a controversial one as the former professional kickboxer turned influencer has been making headlines for a variety of controversial takes on subjects involving gender roles, equality, and what it means to be a top G or alpha male. He went from being a professional kickboxer to an internet personality and social media influencer who regularly spouts sexist, bigoted, and overall toxic and controversial viewpoints to millions of followers. His fame is attributed to his appearance on reality show Big Brother in 2016, where he got kicked off for attacking a woman. His behavior led to accusations of misogyny and toxic masculinity. After being kicked off of Big Brother, Tate went on to become a famous social media influencer. Thanks to a slew of podcast appearances and viral videos on the likes of TikTok and Instagram, Tate's fame was supercharged almost overnight. Despite his allegations, Tate dubs himself as a success coach, and he claims that his videos teach men to avoid toxic people as a whole, not just women. He also claims that his message is not about hate for women, but about good and bad people. His fame plays into a larger role of toxicity among young men on the internet, and many have raised valid issues with him posting the type of rhetoric that he does, saying that he's negatively influencing impressionable men and boys to exhibit all of the aforementioned poor character traits. It's a matter of debate whether or not his message is genuinely about self-improvement or if it's just a justification to continue with the toxic behavior. Whatever the case may be, it's clear that his rise to fame has been a controversial one and has been met with criticism by many. Four-time kickboxing world champion Andrew Tate was once a dominant force in the world of professional kickboxing. He amassed a record of 45-2 and, and held multiple kickboxing world championships, becoming a four-time world champion in the process. Tate's fighting style was aggressive and relentless, which earned him a reputation as a fierce competitor in the ring. He was known for his heavy hands and his ability to end fights quickly with knockouts. His striking and power were his biggest weapon, and with it he was able to defeat some of the top-level competitors in the world. From this, he was given the infamous nickname Cobra Tate. Tate's journey to become a four-time kickboxing world champion was not an easy one. He faced a lot of tough opponents along the way. He had to fight and defeat some of the best kickboxers in the world to become a champion. He battled through a string of grueling fights, each one pushing him to his limits. Despite the odds stacked against him in some of his biggest bouts, Tate always found a way to come out on top. His four-time world champion status is a testament to his hard work, dedication, and talent. It's a remarkable achievement that's difficult to accomplish in the sport of kickboxing, and only a select few athletes have ever reached this level of success. Throughout his fighting career, Andrew Tate was one of the most dominant kickboxers and a true champion in the sport. Webcam Business Andrew Tate claims kickboxers don't make much money. When he was a kid, he remembered getting mad when he saw a man driving a luxury sports car. He thought to himself, why shouldn't that be me? Tate always had aspirations to become extremely wealthy, and he knew kickboxing wasn't the way to get there. He decided to retire from kickboxing and started a webcam business with various ring girls, which he built and scaled up to become a successful empire. They started the webcam business from his apartment, and it just grew and grew. According to Tate himself, at the height of his webcam business, he was earning $600,000 a month and had 75 women working for him in four countries. Tate's webcam business operates on a unique model, where he hires young women to work as live webcam performers who entertain and interact with viewers in real time. The business quickly gained popularity and attracted a large audience, resulting in a steady stream of income for both Tate and the girls. He claims that before his webcam business expanded internationally, he would impersonate the cam girls by typing messages to men on the other side of the screen, earning as much as $4,000 a day by typing for 16 hours a day. According to Tate, the girls would sit on a webcam and an old dude would sit there. 
He was trying to train his girls, and it got to the point where he believed it would be easier if he typed himself. They had two girls on camera with a keyboard that wasn't plugged in, but Tate was behind the screen talking to the dude, saying the right things to start dragging money out of the internet. Some of these men would go on to even give these girls over a million dollars total. At the peak of it, he thought he was the king of the world. That became his new life, and he went from a kickboxer to a pretend girl on the internet. Once the girls learned they could do it themselves, he needed some more chicks, Tate said. And that was the beginning of the cam empire. One of the key factors to the business's success was Tate's marketing strategies. He utilized various social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram to promote the business and attract a large following. He also used SEO optimization to ensure his website was easily found by potential customers. He also made sure to create a user-friendly platform that was easy to navigate. Casinos in Romania Aside from his webcam business, Andrew Tate's also a successful businessman in Romania where he owns a chain of 15 casinos together with his brother, Tristan Tate. He first learned about the casino business while working for the RXF aka the Romanian UFC organization, and overheard three businessmen talking about their casino empire and how they made millions of dollars a day with their casinos stretched all across Eastern Europe. Tate was determined to get involved, so he bothered the three businessmen for years, and eventually he came up with a strategy to open his own casinos in Romania. He offered to pay for opening locations, gave a percentage of turnover, not profit, and opened up directly next door to their number one competitor in Romania. He called it going to war with his money. Unlike traditional casinos, which have hundreds of employees and stations where you can play card games like blackjack, Andrew Tate's new casinos were electronic only and only had slot machines and other electronic only games. He says this business model is extremely profitable and has many advantages over the traditional casino model. To ensure his first casino success, he opened it between one of his competitors and a Starbucks coffee shop and put up a sign that said free coffee outside his building. As a result, people started coming into his casino for the free coffee and the pretty girls who would serve it, and before they knew it, they were gambling their money away on his slot machines. His first casino was so successful that he ended up opening 11 more for a total of 12 casinos, and he claims that he's now making more than a million dollars per month in revenue from his chain of 15 casinos. Andrew Tate's casinos in Romania are a testament to his ability to identify and capitalize on business opportunities, his entrepreneurial spirit, and his sheer will and utter determination to reach his goals. How he went so viral Andrew Tate used several methods to achieve viral growth and gain a large following. First, he stirs controversy with his outspoken and contentious beliefs. He's highly vocal about them. This results in two distinct audiences. One side is an angry mob that despises him, while the other is a nearly cult-like following that shares his views and admires him for being so outspoken. This also led to him being a guest on other podcasts and shows, raising his profile and fostering organic audience growth as more people learned and discovered him. Second, he leverages the power of short-form videos by sharing inflammatory remarks on popular platforms such as TikTok, YouTube clips, and Instagram Reels. He and his team understand that short-form content is trending and working for growth on social media. Third, he uses a secret weapon called Hustlers University, an online business that teaches people how to spread the word about his program and make money by getting other people to join the program. He teaches them to cut up social media clips and post them on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. This results in a large student body spreading his content, editing his content, and promoting his services about his online business as they were getting commission for getting new people to his program. This was essentially a genius affiliate marketing pyramid scheme Tate devised to generate more sales and make himself go viral. Arrest and Controversy Andrew Tate was arrested in Romania on December 29th, along with four other individuals, for forming an organized crime group that sexually exploited six women. According to Romanian prosecutors, the women were lured into a relationship with Tate and the other suspects under false pretenses, then forced into performing sexual acts on camera for financial gain for Tate and the other suspects. Tate has denied the charges against him and challenged the Romanian arrest warrant. 
The Romanian government has also seized properties and luxury vehicles belonging to Tate and the other suspects. The former professional kickboxer is known for his misogynistic remarks and is believed to have lived in Romania since 2017 after leaving the UK over a sexual assault probe. Tate has a large following on social media platforms with around 4.5 million followers on Twitter. He was banned from the platform in 2017 for violating its terms of service, but his account was reinstated by the new owner Elon Musk in November. His recent arrest in Romania follows a high-profile Twitter spat with the prominent Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg. The Bucharest Court of Appeals dismissed Tate's challenge to the 30-day arrest warrant, calling it unfounded. The court's decision to extend their arrest was based on the reasoning that Tate may try to flee Romania since he has citizenship in numerous countries. So there you have it, folks, the story of Andrew Tate and how he went from the top G, now arrested, and canceled. It's going to be tough for Tate to escape the situation, and the final result of the controversy in his legal battles remains to be seen. Leave a comment down below with your favorite Andrew Tate quote and whether you believe he has an overall positive or negative influence on society. As always, we'll see you in the next video. Video.